How many of you consider yourself to be like people pleasers? Have you noticed like the golden rule of photography seems to be make the person that you're photographing feel comfortable? Do you know that's a rule that I don't Velcro myself to in any way, shape or form? There's nothing wrong with wanting to be liked. I think where it becomes a problem is when our behavior and our decision making is relevant to what other people think about us. You know what I'm saying? But when we're living like that, we're like a rabbit caught in the headlights. We can't really be ourselves because our sense of self-worth and our confidence is a consequence of how other people feel about us. Like, like I said, I'm in no way an advocate of making other people feel uncomfortable for its own sake. Why, why would I do that? that? That doesn't make sense. What I won't do though is uh, dilute myself as a person so that other people feel comfortable in relation to me telling the truth as I see it or saying what's on my mind or just being genuine. Why wouldn't we want to be genuine? Why wouldn't the people in our lives want us to be genuine? Our friends, family, whoever it is we're, we're in relation to. But I admire people who, who, who tell me the truth. It's usually in hindsight, right? In the moment, you kind of just want to kick them, don't you? <laughs> but uh, those people have put themselves on the line to tell me the truth. It's like they put themselves out there because it's uncomfortable to tell someone else the truth, right? And when I say talking about the truth here, I'm talking like, you know, there should be a criteria with it. Is it necessary? Yeah. Is it kind? People who are putting themselves on the line to tell me the truth, it kind of takes real character. It just takes real strength of spirit. And I, I make a habit of inviting them people into my life. It doesn't feel comfortable for me to do that, but I do it because I want that truth. I, want to, I, I, I don't want to be like sharing my photographs. I don't want be people to just be telling me they're great all the time. I want their opinion. And that's all it is anyway, right? It's just somebody else's, somebody's opinion. Why is it we, we want to save people from discomfort anyway? What is it, what is it that we, that, that's, uh, why is it that we do that? I've got this sneaky suspicion, right, that has nothing to do with us necessarily being overly concerned about how they feel. I think it's more to do, like, if they're uncomfortable, we're uncomfortable, and we don't, we don't like entertaining that feeling within us. I think that's more what it's... It's kind of a little bit selfish. It's a bit like the, the, the parent, isn't it, who's always saving their, their, their child. Listen, if your child's running out in the street or sticking their head in the oven, you know, don't turn the gas on. No, I mean, that's not what I'm saying. It's like, I'm talking about in that overprotective way. We want to save them from feeling any degree of discomfort whatsoever. What we're doing then, in actual fact, is we're not preparing them for life. So, so that they just become like scared of, they can't do anything for themselves when they leave home. What we're doing in actual fact, when we're saving them, is we're taking from them like valuable lessons. And it's the same with our friends and they ask us their opinion. It could be like, even like a pho photograph, right? Like someone asks you their uh, opinion on a photograph that they've taken, and there's parts of it that you just, just, just literally you don't like. Uh, you'd be appropriate, right? We can be kind and you can be sweet. And are we willing to be a great friend to them by telling them the truth, in our opinion? Do you know when I started out the wedding photography industry, I alienated half of the industry. And I didn't do it on purpose, not at first. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. It's like what happened was, is that I just saw the truth as I saw it at that time, coming into the industry of how I thought things were gonna, um, the direction things were heading in. And I think I was proved right, actually. And but I think what happened was that the guys that I was alienating were kind of people that have been around a long time. And I understand that, I understand that. It's like someone, some Jack the Lag comes in, sort of rocking the boat, upsetting the status quo, do you know what I mean? But for me, what I did, I just sort of, like I said, just told the truth as I saw it. And what I found was that there was a whole bunch of photographers in those uh, groups, it was like Facebook groups, that kind of thing, who kind of breathed a sigh of relief when I was sharing that stuff. And, and, and I kind of, uh, I got quite a lot of respect for that. And the reason for that is all I was doing was sharing what they were thinking. So how does this benefit us as photographers? It's about being authentic in any field 
is attractive, right? Especially if you turn in trying to attract people to you. And people will get it, potential clients, when you're talking with them, they'll get it that you're authentic if you're authentic. They'll get it. Imagine this is a scenario. You are booked to shoot a wedding and you're doing a pre-wedding shoot with a bride. And the day arrives for the shoot and you, you meet up with her and the groom and, and she, like you have a little coffee first, right? And she begins to tell you how like, nervous she is and she's very, very uncomfortable, she's very shy as a person. And you know that she's shy because she spent the best part of all of the previous conversations you've had with her on the phone telling you how shy she is and how worried she is about her photography and that kind of thing. And what you do on the pre-wedding shoot, you acknowledge that she's shy and kind of that's reflected in your approach in the shoot. And as in turn, it's reflected in the photographs and her wedding's coming up. Is she gonna be going into her wedding day any more confident? How about this for a scenario? We have a coffee, the bride is expressing how nervous she's feeling, how uh, uh, perhaps even a little bit intimidated by having her photograph taken. And you acknowledge again that she's shy and during the shoot, you begin to kind of push things a little or rather you just begin to invite her to kind of just st begin to step outside of her comfort zone, just a little bit at first, and then perhaps it's not a one size fits all this, guys, right? Like everybody's different. This is about being present and again, authentic with the people that we're photographing. And so some one person's line might be here, one person's line might be here, one person's line might be here. What we're interested in here, just kind of gently um, enticing them over their own line, just little by little, yeah? The degree to which you can do that is the degree to which she's going to have an experience perhaps on her shoot that she wasn't as shy as she, perhaps she thought she was. And then as a consequence, perhaps when she sees her photographs, she's like, wow, I didn't realize I could do that. And how do you think she's going to be then going into her wedding? I would hazard a guess that she's going to be less intimidated, less worried about having her pictures taken on her wedding day, and perhaps even a little bit looking forward to it even. So if your priority is that just to make her feel comfortable, right? To acknowledge her shyness, which is important to do, but you're just keeping her in that space, then she's not gonna have that experience of, of being anything other than that, right? And is it risky? It, probably. And life's short, right? You know, guys, listen, this is, like I said, this is not about making people feel uncomfortable here. It's about being authentic being, and being genuine. You might lose a whole bunch of friends being like that. But I'll tell you one thing, right? If you're authentic as a person, you might gain a whole bunch of new ones that are um, pretty damn good friends. Movement, I think. She's great, isn't she? You can't be a people pleaser and get those sort of shots. Guys, if you're enjoying the videos, please hit the like button on this video. It's a really big support for me, guys, because then YouTube will just share it with more people. And then um, if you subscribe to my channel, if you're not subscribed, subscribed already, again, it's a big support. And perhaps even turn on your notifications because then when I post a new video, you'll be reminded of it. Phew. I might have a shave for the next one. Cheers guys, see you on the next one. <laughs>